All right, guys, what's up? <clears throat> Sorry, my, my voice, it's, it's like really hoarse now. So, you know, you have to bear with me. I was uh, really didn't even plan on making a video or whatever. Um, I just heard a bunch of noise outside. And uh, I was looking. Now, I'm not saying that this is the wrong way to do any of this, guys. Because, you know, there's, all, there's you know, and, and, and for the record, somebody had commented and they said, Mel, Mr. Mo, to tell you the truth, you know, there's a guy that's got a book out on how to be a millionaire lawn care guy and to follow his steps and he's correct and that to do five acres like you wouldn't push mo five acres well come on dude you can push mo five acres that's not wrong it's not very productive but it's not wrong you can push mo a front yard or you can use a zero turn it's not wrong and i am sorry i don't care if there's a guy that has a millionaire lawn care service and he wrote a book that makes me no daggone difference i live in lexington kentucky there's 450,000 people in my city my city alone you cannot sit there and tell me that you run a business the same way in a small town that you do in a big city you don't you can't do it i can make i can get a hundred clients Less than a mile from my house. There's 4,000 people that live one mile around my house. 4,000. One mile. I can advertise differently than someone who lives in an area where there's 10,000 people in a 100 mile radius. You get what I'm saying? Some of you guys live in areas where you've got to travel a long distance. That's why I say that there's not one guy. I can't sit there and say, if if listen, if I live in the country, I can't run my business the same way that somebody does that lives in the city. Therefore, if they wrote a book and they live in the city and they're successful, the same things that they did ain't gonna be successful for me. Now tell me if if I don't care, I don't care how successful you are. You ain't getting ready. You ain't gonna sit there. You can somebody said, well, won't you ask the people that run McDonald's? You ain't get ready. Go to a third world country, third world country, and open up a McDonald's there and expect that they're gonna be able to afford to pay for it. McDonald's is successful where it's located. That doesn't mean every McDonald's is gonna be successful, man. They 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 knock down McDonald's all the time. They replace them with different restaurants. They replace them with Burger King. Well, maybe not McDonald's, but I mean, y'all have seen where there'll be a Burger King or a restaurant and it, and they put something else there. <laughs> I mean, anyway, people are just, people are just so dumb though. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like you ain't got to argue with me whether or not I'm right or wrong. Like who cares if there's a guy that, that's got a book that's a success? Read his book then. Read his book. Don't watch my videos. Read his book. And, and follow him and see if you're a millionaire next year. See if you're a millionaire next year. I mean, damn, you realize how many people, how, how many guys make how to become rich books, self seminars. How many people have seminars out here? How many people are, they're, 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 they're teaching people how to make money. How many people go to those seminars and actually be rich? Huh? I mean, you think Oprah ain't made a book on telling people how to make money? You think David Blaine ain't made a book on how to make money? You think no professional athlete, Michael Jordan, Michael Jackson, Magic Johnson, Michael, uh, some other famous Michael? You don't think nobody that's famous has made a book how to be a famous actor? You don't think nobody other than this lawn care guy you don't think nobody's made a book and people have tried to follow it and not been successful? Think about that. If it was that easy, why don't everybody just read this book and be 100% successful? Oh, wait, that's right. Because it don't work that way. Come on, man. It don't work that way. And if you think it works that way, you got some learning to do. Now, the main reason I was coming out here, this guy, this guy, he been out here for about two hours. 
He been out here about two hours. Let me let me put the camera down here. I'm gonna go sit at my front yard. I ain't trying to talk about the man. I mean, shoot, they should have called me. I don't even know. I don't, I don't think he lives there. He's got a truck. He's just a little truck, you know. Let me uh. Oh no, he's not done, is he? Look, look. ain't no way he's done. See? Ain't no way he's done. He's putting up the things, the little things for the mower, though. Look, look at all the leaves out there, though. Ain't no way he's done. Ain't no way he's done. He must have done run out of gas or something. See, there's his mower. See him getting his push mower. He's great. Put that on the on the. He's great. Put that on the truck. Yeah, I'm sitting here, man. Let me <laughs> see here. Yeah, he's done. He's done. When when he leaves, I'm a, I'm gonna drive by. I mean, like I ain't even done my yard yet. I ain't, I ain't even done my yard yet. I got less leaves than he does. <laughs> I don't know what they doing though. Um. Yeah, yeah, I was telling me about the, uh, the, what's his name, the air brakes. I see, I just got these tires, like, like, literally last week. I mean, I ain't even drove 100 miles on these tires. I mean, you can still see the tire, the colors, you know what I'm saying? I ain't even driven, I ain't driven nowhere on these tires. So, I don't know, maybe, maybe they just didn't put the tires in right or something. I don't know. So, uh, yeah, he's done. I'm going to drive by there, though, and see. He ain't, uh, look at these, these over here. He ain't, um, go start. He ain't, he ain't done. I mean, surely they're not going to pay him for that type of service because, uh, Shit, they just like, they just right down the street from me. Hell, I'd have went down there and done that front yard for like 60 bucks. Done it all the way right. Oh my goodness, look at this. This fail. Look at that. Damn. Damn. Look at that. Hey ya! Hey ya! Hey ya! Ow! Damn, that hurt. Damn, that hurt. That hurt. Let me knock this down real quick. Oh, there went that. Huh. Shit. Some that new damn cutters. Oh shit! <laughs> Let's see here. <laughs> Y'all gonna be like, man, what's what's the point of this video? It ain't one. It ain't one. It ain't no point. I'm just making a video. <clears throat> Bored. That's all I'm doing. I'm just being bored. Hold on, man. This damn thing stuck in there. Uh. Oh, well. Damn, I can clean up my backyard. I got stuff everywhere. Let me see here. I'm waiting on this guy to leave. waiting on this guy to leave and uh yeah we'll wait for him to uh we'll wait for him to leave and uh I'll go over and meddle give me just a second well 
It's cold outside. He's out there talking. Maybe he's going to come back tomorrow. I don't know. I mean, uh... Good hair. Can you see that? Look at that. Look at that hair. Um, yeah, uh, anyway, I ain't really want nothing. I was, I was just bored. I mean, actually, I was just sitting here and I heard something. And I was like, well, uh, you know, maybe somebody's doing some leads or something. And then it's like two hours later, you know, I'm like, man, they still out there doing them leads. So I got up there and looked and he shoot a guy out there, you know, he, he had his little, uh, he had his little, uh, handheld blower. Nothing wrong with it. If that's how you're going to do it, going to do it. But it looked like when he was out there, it's it's funny. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you know what I'm saying? Like, you see a, a kid, like someone's 18, 17, 16, and they out with a push mower. Like, you're like, oh, yeah, you know, they just out trying to get them this little money. When you see a 70-year-old man out with a push mower, you know, and he over got this lean on, you know, he's got the wobble walk, you know what I'm saying? Where he's got a bad knee and a bad back and a bad ankle, you know. Uh... I don't, I feel bad when I see them with a push mower. You know what I'm saying? You know, you see that old man, he out there struggling. He out there, he out there walking like this. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? When he out walking, and he, he got that, he got that walk like that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, over here, man, over here, with the, with the blow, and he over. <laughs> you know when you got somebody and they walking like that, you know you feel bad when you see him out there doing labor. You know what I'm saying? You ain't going to feel so bad you see me out there with a push mower struggling, but you see some older guy out there struggling with a push mower, and it ain't funny. Uh. Anyway, I don't know, it's about eight minute video, four, four. What y'all got y'all's temperature on, man? Shoot. 71 in here. I just had to turn that up. It was on 70. 69 or 70. And uh, I, was, I was talking to a buddy of mine, exterminator. He was telling me earlier, he's like, man, why don't you, uh, you know, run your fireplace? You know, keep your house a little warmer or whatever. I was like, oh, yeah. He's like, yeah, it'd be a lot cheaper. I just turned it on, actually. I, I had it off because I ain't sitting in this room anyway. So, you know, it ain't doing nothing but heating up an area that I'm not sitting in. Because we got some lazy boys right here and we watch the TV. Then uh, I got my desk, my office and such. It's right here. It used to be a dining room, actually. See, so we had the dining room stuff thing, cabinet in the dining room. It's, so it was a dining room. I mean, shoot, we got a dining room right here. I mean, we eat right here. Table sits in here just fine, you know, so. Utilize space. We don't waste space. We utilize. Let's see here. Yeah, see, like they, uh, like there's another car that done up here. No, he's talking to them now. I was going to go down there and look. And like, he blew all the leaves. I ain't even talking about the guy. See, and then uh, the way they do them, the way they, well, they do them, uh, my neighbor, you know, guy lives across the street from me. I'll show you how he did his yard. That's cool. Let me walk over here. I'll show you how he did his. So I want to get me a mow your yard hoodie like you. So in fact, I might just get mow your yard symbol on here. Anyway, so my neighbor, the way he does his, let me show you. This is what he does. Which, I mean, they don't say nothing out here, though. You know what I'm saying? This is normal. This is okay to put your leaves out here on the curb. And it's funny. See, that's, that's what she looked like. He, that must be her daddy. Uh, so anyway, you see how he put his, he just throw his all out here. See, I mean, what I would have done, if I was going to do this, I would have blown all of this under there. And then I would have mowed, mowed over all of this. 
several times, you know what I'm saying? Uh, most everything up in here. I mean, that's how I would done it. Hmm. See, then I aerate that yard. In fact, I aerate that yard. This yard. This yard right here. My house. Right there. Aerate the cop's house right there. That was the lady right there next door. That was the lady that uh, I would come and cut her yard, and then she would say, oh, well, it, you know, the weeds are getting too long. If you can come by and cut it sooner, you know, even though she wants a two-week schedule, she wants you to come on a 10-day. Anyway, then I, I do that house right there. Yeah, right that house. Um, and, uh, you know, like I said, this one and that one right there. So, I mean, I got quite a few houses. In my my street alone, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, one, two, I aerate his, but he, he cuts his own yard. There's three, uh, four, five, six. Had one all the way down the end of the street. And uh, then another one, if you go turn it over in there. Um, so, you know, uh, Do it till I start driving. Yeah, see, it's either her dad, it's either her dad or something. But I mean, I'm gonna walk over and be like, "Yeah, I'll hook it up." Especially since ain't nothing need to be done. I mean, all the hard work's been done. I tell the last shoot, I come over, I smell, I walk to your house, I do it. Thirty dollars. I knock it out for thirty dollars. Oh, here he comes. We'll just sit this like this for now. Watch him drive by. We we'll watch him drive by here a little bit. I think that was a dude. I think that was a. I think that was a chick. I think that was a chick. <laughs> I think that was a chick. Look at all the leaves over there. Yeah, they can't be done. Can't be done. It can't be done. The hell is this driving through here? Oh, silly. Silly they driving though. It's a dead end street. No sense of being there. Silly ass. Alright, anyway, um, uh, You know what I'm saying? Um. Uh, oh well. Anyway, um. Yeah, I don't know, guys. <laughs> I don't know. It's really it's just video, just to say what's up. What's up? How y'all doing? What's the weather like out there? Cause it's cold around here. It's like 22 or something outside right now. It's freezing. True. Stick my hands up underneath this fire. Boy, I tell you what. Shoot. -y. Cold. Um. Man, you know, I was going to say something. But I ain't really have no topic for this video. So I just wanted to say... Merry Christmas. Actually, I'll probably make a video before Christmas, but if I don't, Merry Christmas to all you guys out there. All you guys starting new lawn care businesses, man, have fun with it. Don't get discouraged. Don't let me discourage you, because that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to be honest. It ain't like, oh, it ain't, it ain't, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's more than just making money. It's more than just cutting grass. 
sl- making cash and slashing grass or whatever the damn saying is. It's more to it than that. You know what I'm saying? It's more to it than that. I mean, you could be the greatest person. You can you could be the greatest. You can have the most skill in the world cutting grass. Like you can know how to edge everything and you can know how to stripe and do all that. But man, if you don't know how to talk to clients, if you don't know how to advertise, if you don't know how to get out there and get that money, man, you can have all the knowledge in the world. You can go to school for business education, man. If you don't apply it, you ain't never going to do nothing about it. You ain't never going to, you know what I'm saying? You ain't never going to do nothing. You ain't, you ain't never going to, you know. It's just like if you got a million dollar check but don't sign the back of it, man, you can't cash it. You know what I'm saying? If you don't put forth all the effort you got to put forth in into doing what you got to do. You know. Anyway, it's just a whole blog, man. It's just me rambling. I have my voice is hoarse and I still like to talk. Ain't that a damn shame? Oh, snap. I ain't got no Moyo Yard shirt on. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. It's just right here, though. <laughs> I just ain't, I ain't gone nowhere, so, you know. Like I said, I was just going out wondering what all that noise was. I said, damn, they ain't done out here yet. Been out here about two, three hours, man. Y'all disturbing my rest. Shoot. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Anyways, guys. <coughs> um. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm going to get off this. I'm going to go ahead and upload this. I got another video I got to edit, so I'll upload this one. And then... Listening for the mailman. Mail come here anywhere between 11 and 5 o'clock. Ain't that a damn shame? 11 and 5. So, here it is now. You know. Yup, yup, yup. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Yo. I was just thinking. I was just sitting there talking to myself when I said it. But, you know, when somebody like like this guy that's got a millionaire book and telling you how to be, uh, how to make be a millionaire successful or any of these books that are that are to teach you how to be successful or to teach you how to get rich. They are not, they are not, they are guidelines. They're, they're guidelines. They are not saying do this step by step and you will be rich. They are saying these are guidelines to help you be successful. They're not saying if you detour off of that guideline that you will fail. They're not saying that if you follow them step by step, you will be successful. There's no guarantee in business, there's no guarantee you're going to be successful. There's no guarantee you're going to fail. So, you know, just take that in, in mind. You know, but you, I'm sure some of you guys, I what I want you to do is comment below if you have re- read a, a self-help book or a book to get rich. Or, a, you know what I'm saying? You know, they got the pyramid schemes or you, you read the bottom and, you know what I'm saying? Who has read one of those books and are you rich? You know what I'm saying? I mean, because I don't know. I ain't never read one. You know, I ain't going to sit there and say that they're not true. I just don't feel like, I feel like if it's that easy, then and then it would only cost nine ninety nine. If it was that easy to just spend $9, buy a book and read it, and you're going to get rich, then everybody would be rich. You feel me? And that's not the case. I mean, do you hear uh, KFC? You notice they don't give their recipes out, right? Why? Because they don't want everybody to make their chicken. Come on, man. You know, read between the lines, man. If somebody's out here selling a book to get rich, to get you rich off lawn care, their main intention is for them to get rich. If I wrote a book helping you, the main reason I wrote the book is so I can make money. Otherwise, I'm I'm not going to write the book. Gandhi. Maybe the only, and Mother Teresa might be the only two people in the world that ever did, that ever helped people for no reason. I mean, I ain't saying I ain't never helped nobody for no reason. What I'm saying is, is that I ain't getting ready to file, got a million dollars. I ain't getting ready to just give it away to give you a million dollars. 
I teach you how to make a million dollars. It don't mean you're going to make a million dollars. But I teach you how to do it. I teach you how to do it all day. If I had a million dollars, that don't mean I can make it. Anyway, my battery's going to run up. I got to get all these videos up here. Anyway. Hey, guys.